The University of Texas Longhorns baseball team is one of the most successful and storied programs in college baseball. The Texas Longhorns baseball team is the winningest NCAA Division I college baseball program of all time in terms of winning percentage with an all-time record of 3,714, 1,403, and 32, which is a .724 winning percentage as of the end of the 2022 season. The Longhorns have won six NCAA Baseball National Championships, 79 regular season conference championships, and 16 conference tournament championships. They also hold the record for the most appearances in the College World Series with 38, most individual College World Series games won with 88, most overall NCAA tournament games won with 253, and the most NCAA tournament appearances with 61. The Longhorns have been coached by some of the legends of college baseball, such as Bib Falk, Cliff Gustafson, and Augie Garrido. They have also produced many outstanding players who went on to play in the major leagues, such as Roger Clemens, Burt Hooden, Houston Street, and Brooks Kaishnik. If you are a fan of college baseball or Texas sports, you don't want to miss this video. Stay tuned as we explore the rich history of the Texas Longhorns baseball team and learn how they became the powerhouse in the sport. The early history of the Texas Longhorns baseball team dates back to 1894 when the team was founded. The first game was played in 1895, but records from the first two years are incomplete. The first collegiate victory was over Ad Ran College, what is today Texas Christian University, on April 21, 1897. Seven different managers, including some that were also the school's football coaches, led the team in its first decade of existence. The team played mostly against local colleges and high schools and did not have a regular conference affiliation until 1915. The team's early records are not very impressive, as they had losing seasons in 1897, 1898, 1900, 1901, 1902, 1903, 1904, and 1905. However, the team had some notable achievements, such as winning the state championship in 1899 and 1906, and defeating the Chicago White Sox in an exhibition game in 1907. The William J. Billy Dish era was from 1911 to 1939 and is when Texas saw some of its early success as a program. Dish was one of the most successful and influential coaches in college baseball history, leading the Longhorns to 22 conference titles with two in the Texas Intercollegiate Athletic Association and 20 in the Southwest Conference. He also had a record of 465, 115, and 9, a .797 winning percentage against collegiate opponents. Dish was known for his perfectionism and strict discipline, and he developed many outstanding players who went on to play professionally. He retired following the 1939 season and was honored by having the university's baseball stadium named after him, along with Bip Falk. Dish was inducted into several Hall of Fames, including the College Baseball Hall of Fame in 2008. Bip Falk followed Dish, serving as the head coach from 1940 to 1967. Falk was a former Longhorns baseball and Major League outfielder who played for the Chicago White Sox and Cleveland Indians. He succeeded Billy Dish as the coach, except for a three-year period from 1943 to 1945 when he served in World War II and assistant football coach Blair Cherry led the team. Falk continued the tradition of excellence established by Dish, leading the Longhorns to 20 Southwest Conference titles and two national championships in 1949 and 1950. He also had a record of 434, 260, and 9, a .624 winning percentage against collegiate opponents. Falk was known for a fiery temper and his high standards for his players. He developed many outstanding players who went on to play professionally. He retired following the 1967 season and was honored by having the university's baseball stadium named after him along with Dish. Falk was inducted into several Hall of Fames, including the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2006. Falk was followed by Cliff Gustafson as head coach in 1968. Gustafson was a former Longhorns baseball and minor league infielder who played for the Chicago White Sox and Cleveland Indians. He succeeded Bip Falk as the coach after having a successful high school coaching career at South San Antonio High School, where he won seven state championships. Gustafson continued and surpassed the traditions of excellence established by Falk and Dish, leading the Longhorns to 22 conference titles, 11 conference tournament championships, and the College World Series championship in 1975 and 1983. He also had a record of 1,466, 377 and 2, a .795 win percentage against collegiate opponents, making him the winningest coach in NCAA Division I baseball history at the time of his retirement. Gustafsson was known for his fiery temper and his high standards for his players, and he developed many outstanding players who went on to play professionally. He retired following the 1996 season and was honored by having his jersey number 25 retired by the university. 
Gustafsson was inducted into several Hall of Fames, including the College Baseball Hall of Fame in 2006. Some notable players that played for Gustafsson are Roger Clemens, Brooks Kaishnik, Bert Hooden, Ron Gardenhire, Keith Moreland, Greg Swindell, Calvin Scaraldi, Spike Owens, Kirk Dressendorfer, and Shane Reynolds. Augie Garrido took over the, as head coach in 1997, leading the Longhorns baseball team until 2016. Garrido was a former professional baseball player and coach who had previously won three national championships with Cal State Fullerton. He succeeded Cliff Gustafson as the head coach after having a brief stint at Illinois. Garrido led the Longhorns to seven Big 12 championship conference titles, four conference tournament championships, and two national championships in 2002 and 2005. He also had a record of 824, 427-2, and two, a .658 winning percentage against collegiate opponents, making him the second winningest coach in Texas history behind Gustafson. Garrido was known for his philosophical approach and his motivational skills, and he developed many outstanding players who went on to play professionally. He retired following the 2016 season and was honored by having his jersey number 16 retired by the university. Garrido was inducted into several Hall of Fames, including the College Baseball Hall of Fame in 2016. He unfortunately died March 15, 2018 at the age of 79. Some of Garrido's notable players include Houston Street, Brandon Belt, Corey Knable, Tim Wallach, Bill Nevy, and Mark Kotze. Enter David Pierce. Pierce began his coaching career at St. Pouis X in 1992 before taking over at Dobby High School in 1994, where he led them to four district championships and a state semifinal appearance. He was an assistant coach at Houston, serving as their hitting coach from 2000 to 2001, where he helped the Cougars reach two NCAA tournaments and one Super Regional. He then served as an assistant at Rice as the hitting coach and recruiting coordinator from 2003 to 2005, helping the Owls win three consecutive Western Athletic Conference titles in the 2003 National Championship. After that, he took over as head coach at Tulane, where he led the Green Wave to three NCAA tournament appearances one Conference USA regular season title, and one Conference USA tournament title, compiling a record of 180 and 107, a .627 winning percentage from 2006 to 2011. He then took over as Sam Houston State's head coach, where he led the Bearcats to four NCAA tournament appearances, three Southland Conference regular season titles, and two Southland Conference tournament titles, compiling a record of 217 and 115, a .653 winning percentage from 2012 to 2016. Pierce is a Texas native who had spent most of his 30-year career coaching in the state and found himself taking over for Augie Garrido as the Longhorns head coach in 2017, after having successful stints at Sam Houston State and Tulane. Pierce has led the Longhorns to four NCAA tournament appearances, two Big 12 Conference regular season titles, one Big 12 Conference tournament title, and three College World Series appearances in 2018, 2021, and 2022. He has a record of 219 and 116, a .654 winning percentage at Texas, and was named the Big 12 Conference Coach of the Year in 2018 and 2021. He was also named Baseball America's National Coach of the Year in 2018 and the ABCA Central Regional Coach of the Year in 2021. Pierce has faced some challenges in his tenure, such as dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic that cut short the 2020 season and is navigating the transition to the Southeastern Conference as expected to happen in 2025. However, he has developed some outstanding players who have been drafted by Major League teams, such as Ty Madden, Ivan Melendez, Murphy Staley, Pete Hansen, and Zach Zubia. Going to the 2023 season, expectations were high for the Longhorns baseball program after coming off of consecutive College World Series appearances, but they had a grueling schedule that included games against five SEC opponents, including Arkansas, Vanderbilt, Missouri, LSU, and Texas A&M. They went 1-4 in those matchups with their only win coming against in-state rival Texas A&M. Last year, the Longhorns were led by their offense, which ranked first nationally with home runs with 128 home runs, and second in slugging percentage with a .550. Ivan Melendez had a historic season as he led the nation with 32 home runs, 94 RBIs, and a .863 slugging percentage. He also won the Golden Spikes Award and several other National Player of the Year awards. Longhorns were also solid on the mound as they ranked 9th in the nation with a 2.89 ERA and had three pitchers with more than 100 strikeouts, Pete Hansen, Lucas Gordon, and LeBaron Johnson Jr. This year, the Longhorns have been excellent on defense as they rank 1st in the nation with a .985 fielding percentage and have committed only 37 errors. At the time of recording, they are currently 23-10 and, and ranked inside the top 25 by D1Baseball.com. They are currently in first place with a 6-3 conference record, ahead of Oklahoma State and TCU. They will close out conference play with series against Baylor, 
Oklahoma, Kansas, and West Virginia, and may have the opportunity to find themselves in Omaha by the end of the year. The University of Texas is the winningest program in college baseball history and will look to add to their legacy this year, hopefully adding a few new trophies to their trophy case. What do you think? Who will win the College World Series this year? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here. I could not be more thankful for y'all. You guys make this all possible for me. And as always, remember to embrace the grind. Thank you.